This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision in technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. I'm Greg, your host. This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. And I kind of wanted to slow down a little bit, because we're at the beach. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's not a blue screen. I could walk right out there into the water and I, I would get wet. Uh, so it's all for real. So there's birds. Uh, you might have heard a bird just now. I heard a bird. It's great. There's wind. The sun is providing our light. Life is good, man. I'm at the How to Drink Annex, also known as my in-law's house. They were very gracious uh, in letting us film back here and uh, make the show. And I also want to thank Luxardo for being our partner and sponsor for this series. Um, Luxardo makes fantastic liqueurs, most notably maraschino, but they make other things too, like aperitivos and bitter uh, bianca. And we're going to be using those today to make three different kinds of spritzers. Spritzers are very simple things. It's a low ABV drink, uh, kind of a highball. I guess you would call it a highball. It's a spritzer. It's a spritz. A spritz. You take a little bit of something with low ABV, and some Prosecco, or some bubbling wine, or some Champagne, and a little seltzer, and a little garnish. Delicious, delicious. We're not gonna shake these, we're gonna build them in the glass. They're quick, they're easy, you don't have to think about it. One, two, three, and a garnish. So, let's build the first one right here in a highball. We're going to make Luxardo Aperitivo Spritzer. We're gonna build this over a big spear of ice. Um, if you don't have a big spear of ice, just use whatever ice you want. It doesn't matter, Nobody, none of this matters. You don't have to, you don't have to take it too seriously. We're making spritzers. We're just gonna use a bottle of Luxardo Aperitivo for this drink. This is a subtle blend of roots and bittersweet citrus that is really delightful. And so that was two ounces of Luxardo Aperitivo. Luxardo Aperitivo is only 11% by alcohol. That's like wine, very low ABV. We're gonna add Prosecco to it. It'll kick it up a little bit, but for the most part, this is gonna be pretty low alcohol content. Our next drink we're gonna make is the Bitter Bianco Spritzer. We're gonna build this on a column spear. Boom, in she goes. This is about 30%, so we're actually gonna cut this back. We're going to just uh, do this with one and a half ounces. I realize, of course, that that math doesn't really work out, but all the same, we're gonna cut it back a little bit. And we're gonna let that sit right there. I don't have giant cubes with me today because you know we're roughing it a little bit, obviously. So I'm gonna build this in a uh, double rocks glass with Double rocks. That's protruding a bit from the top of our glass. It's okay, it's okay, because that's gonna drop down a little bit. So we're gonna add one ounce of maraschino to this. This is sort of the how to drink uh, spritzer, my own specialty. Um, this one does require another touch. We're gonna add some orange bitters to this. I like three or four dashes, actually. I, I go a little heavy on that. And two dashes of absinthe. Uh, now, all three of these guys are gonna get a good pour of Prosecco. I can only do this once, so there won't be a close-up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Delightful. Oh, look at that close-up from the main series. Uh, okay, I wanna add three ounces of this to each of these. Why would I only add three ounces to a spritzer? Why would I not just top them all the way up? Certainly I could. Um, it's kind of a competing flavor, and we want to lengthen the drink. We want to add more bubbles to it. We want to add more se um, seltzer in this case, but we want to only add the right amount of wine to this uh, to balance it out, and that is kind of the right amount in this case. Um, so now we are going to finish topping these with just some plain old seltzer. All these guys are gonna get their own garnish. My maraschino spritzer is gonna get garnished with a wedge of grapefruit. Okay, there we go. Let's give this one an orange. That will actually match the flavor profile of the aperitivo very well. I'm just gonna do a peel, give it a twist, okay? Now we're gonna do something a little different with this. I'm gonna clean up the edge, then I take this, I'm gonna put a little envelope slice there. 
Very fancy looking, right? Very fancy. I think this one could really benefit from some Luxardo Maraschino cherries. And, uh, and that's what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna garnish it up. Cool, a couple different schools of thought on this. You could wait, you know, rinse these off, but I kind of like that syrup that's gonna get into the drink. It is gonna run down inside the drink, but it doesn't bother me. I don't know, if it bothers you, clean off your cherries. I don't, I'm not gonna do it. I just like it like that. And now I'm going to put a straw in there and holy crap, I've got three drinks in front of me. Let's try them out. So this is the Aperitivo Spritz. Oh my God, that's lovely. It's so lovely. It's bitter orange. Um, very bitter, very orangey, very, um, it's nice. It's very nice, it's fresh, you know, and it's low alcohol. So you can sip these all day long right by the pool. Let's give this bitter Bianca one a taste. Oh, that's lovely. That's fantastic. It's a refreshing, uh, not too sweet, sophisticated. Refreshing, sophisticated uh, wine spritzer. Champagne spritzer, bubble spritzer. Luxardo Bitter Bianco spritzer. Um, it's good. There are fruit in there that I want to call banana. It's got a little bit of banana notes, but I don't know, that's what I'm getting. And this is sort of the uh, Greg spritzer, made with maraschino, a couple dashes of absinthe, and some orange bitters. Let's give this a taste. That's my speed. <laughs> oh, I like that. That is a unassuming, easy sipper, unchallenging flavor with a little bit of evolution. The absinthe carries a little bit uh, against the maraschino. That's delightful. You can enjoy these all over the place. You can enjoy them on the beach, uh, in a paddle boat. You can enjoy these on the pool. You can enjoy these floating in the pool. You can enjoy these on a deck chair. What? They're wonderful things. You can enjoy them at the Jersey Shore or the California shore, or the Floridian shore. Uh, Florida State Tourism Board. I'm available for hire, and I love the keys. Just saying, you know. I might come cheap if you could throw in like a stilt house. And today we were very, very proud to be brought to you by Luxardo. We made Luxardo spritzers three ways. We made a Luxardo aperitivo spritzer, a bitter Bianco spritzer, and actually a maraschino spritzer. If you like the show, please subscribe. It's great to make this show with you and for you and I'm very happy to have Luxardo as a sponsor. I tweet at How to Drink. I'm on Instagram at How to Drink. I have a blog at thisishowtodrink.com. Uh, I also have a Patreon, and if you really like the show and you want to support it, boy, that would be, I'm, I would be forever in your debt. We do some exclusive stuff there, some behind the scenes things, extended cuts of episodes. It's cool, it's cool. This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. Uh, we made these spritzers three ways with Luxardo Aperitivo, Luxardo Bitter Bianco, and Luxardo Maraschino. Some orange bitters and a little absinthe in there. I still love these cherries. See you guys next week with another drink on how to drink. Thanks for watching. I almost look cool there. Almost. <laughs>